how our legs and stuff are going to move. <coughs> we usually start up here, boom, he straightens it out. I can't get this because he keeps rotating. Point my head. I usually almost always start the same when I dive underneath here and I get locked up. Like I said, I prefer to be out by the elbow, okay, because I'm not that big and I'm not that flexible. Being up by the shoulder requires longer arms. I got to now I tuck his hand up behind his back. There are options from here, but I feel like he's got much more strength in his shoulder. Okay, so it's, he's going to be able to hold out a little bit longer. I love when people come over me this way because all I have to do is keep that hand and the arm planted. As long as I keep my back on the ground, this arm's fairly safe. Okay, but when I get out to the elbow here, now I've got a lot more leverage. All right, and I'm using my butt. You see how my side control changed? I'm not hip down anymore. Okay, I'm up on my knees because I want to be able to move. All right, again, there's a couple of options here as far as how I want to finish it. Easiest way, in my opinion, and the most common way is to step over the head. But if he knows what he's doing, he's going to keep this arm up into my hip. So I can't step over it. All right? I just can't get over it. So I got to have another option. So instead, I'm going to lift that shoulder up. And I'm going to start walking my hips forward. All right? My elbow comes up above his body, and I'm trying to tuck him on top of his hand here until he taps. If he doesn't tap, I get above that hand, and I lay down. His elbow explodes. All right? Putting that pressure down, you see how that torques. If you ever watched uh, Henzo Gracie versus Sakuraba, how Henzo's arm snap, that's about what will happen to him, only he'll be laying on it. Okay? So that's another option. Austin loves this one. Okay? Because he knows you, if you know how to defeat the first one, he'll just walk above you because so, his back's so strong. All right? And his grip is so good. Okay? So this is a really common one. Plus, the other nice thing is that you don't give up position. All right? I'm still on top of him. I can still grind on him a little bit, drive that hip into him. All right, steel cuff if I'm wearing it like he does, okay? But I want to, I'm going to tuck that hand behind him, all right? For the purpose of this drill, give it a shot that way, okay? Just so you know how, how it feels and gives you an option, but we'll use it to transition to something else. The other thing I can do, what's up? Do one more time. Do it one more time, sure. Swim inside, and I use just one caveat to this part. When I'm going for this Americana, I'm not just trying to dig my hand in there. I'm actually rolling my shoulder forward to bring that hand forward. Now, he can squeeze me as hard as he wants here to try to protect it. Even if his hands are locked, I'm putting pressure in with my shoulder and maybe hooking his elbow a little bit to give myself space to dig myself in, okay? And then I pop it past the head. Boom. Wrist. He goes thumb down, thumb down, thumb down. He's rotating. Boom. Oh, he went too far. I lost it. Head down. <coughs> I dig under the shoulder to start. And as soon as I get the, head up, the hand under, now I'm going to walk my way out to his elbow. Okay? Hips are down. If he's not protecting, all right, then I'll start working those hips up and over. Sitting him up. All right? If he is protecting, he's got a real good arm control, shoulder control here. Sorry, Corey, I'm running away from you. Do you ask a question? I've got my control. All right? This time I'm just going to work my way forward. I'll start walking it up, and I'm going to post on his hand. Right, I'm gluing his hand to the ground. All right, I got to be careful of him trying to get his knees up in the way. That's going to be the biggest defense he's got at this point. All right, and I just walk my way around his body. I might even lose it with that bottom hand. That's fine. I can still yeah. tuck it here. All right, I get bruised with that once in a while. He gets really pissed. All right, the other thing that might happen here, if he doesn't plant his hand for the defense, just come around. All right, if he doesn't plant it to defend. And he's still mobile, he's gonna go thumb up. I just go straight back out again to my straight arm bar. All right, he goes thumb up again, even farther, boom, that's fine. Elbow to his ear, plant the wrist, back to the Americana. He goes thumb down, straight arm bar, he keeps going, I lose it, back to my Kimura. And we'll just play this game all day until one of them works. All right. <sighs> Rogan's been quoting one of the Gracie brothers, his definition of jujitsu was, I do this. Then you do this, then I do this, then you do this, forever. <laughs> that was, I, I, I like that one a lot. But that's basically what this is. It's kind of like your half guard suits where you're going old school, roll over, old school, roll over, old school, roll over, until one of them works. All right, either your defense breaks down or my offense breaks down, one of the two. But I just keep going from one to the other. And that's why I like this series so much because I never have to give up side control. And especially for MMA, I'm going for those attacks at any given time. I can pick my hand up and pound on his face. All right, and I'll go right back to the arm. I never have to give up position as long as my side control is solid. All right, if you start kicking out the bottom leg and I'm not paying attention, I'm lifting, now I'm in trouble. But as long as I keep those hips glued to him, I can sit here and attack this arm all day. 
<coughs> ready to move to something else. <coughs> Any other questions? All right, so give those uh, different Kimura attacks an option. All right, walk them on top of it, step over the head like we were before, because we'll use that in the next little part of the series. Um, and then go with the, the thumb up shot, thumb up defense. So if he rolls that thumb up to try and get back out, go back to your straight arm bar. All right, and then back to the Kimura. And we'll just walk through the three attacks a couple of times. All right, try to finish each one over and over and over just to get used to the different wrist movements. Again, it's kind of like that step over arm bar Americana on this side. It's, it's, it's by feel. You can't look at it necessarily and see what's wrong. A lot of it is just, it, this doesn't feel right, especially with that straight arm bar. You gotta play with your elbows, play with your head, figure out what works for you, because all of our arms are different shapes. Good? One, two, three, four.